I couldn't believe I had lost that bet with my sister, Emily. It had all started innocently enough with a playful wager, but now I found myself dressed in a short black dress, teetering on high heels, my long hair styled in a feminine shape, and makeup expertly applied by Emily. She was a master of transformation, and right now, I looked like a gorgeous girl. I hesitated at the door, feeling my heart race as I faced the prospect of stepping out into the world in this unfamiliar attire. Emily, always one step ahead, gently pushed me forward. Remember, you're doing this because of a bet, and you look fabulous. She encouraged. With a deep breath, I ventured out onto the bustling streets. It was a warm summer evening, and people were going about their business, paying me little attention. My steps felt awkward in the heels, but I tried to maintain a semblance of grace. As I walked, I couldn't help but feel a mix of embarrassment and curiosity. How would people react? Would they recognize me? And what about those who didn't? Would they treat me differently? My thoughts were interrupted when a friendly voice called out to me. It was Mrs. Johnson from the bakery down the street. She greeted me with a warm smile, seemingly oblivious to my usual appearance. Hello there, dear, you look simply lovely today, she said. I blushed, thanking her and introducing myself as Christina. The encounter was surprisingly pleasant, and it gave me a newfound confidence to continue my walk. As I strolled through the town, I met other acquaintances, all of whom accepted Christina with open arms. By the time I returned home, I had gained a newfound appreciation for the art of transformation and a deeper understanding of the world from a different perspective. I smiled at Emily, realizing that sometimes, stepping out of one's comfort zone could lead to unexpected discoveries and connections. You were right, Em, I admitted as I changed back into my regular clothes. It was an eye-opening experience, and I'm grateful for it. She grinned mischievously. Well, don't make bets you can't win next time, Chris. But I'm glad you learned something from it. As the days passed, I couldn't shake off the memory of my adventure as Christina. It had left a lingering curiosity about the experiences and interactions I had encountered. Encouraged by my sister Emily, I decided to embrace it further and explore the world from this different perspective. One sunny afternoon, I found myself in the local park, dressed as Christina once more. The warm breeze rustled the leaves, and the sun bathed everything in a golden glow. I felt strangely liberated and confident as I strolled along the walking path, my heels clicking on the pavement. As I approached a picturesque gazebo, a young man sitting on a bench nearby caught my eye. He had a friendly, boyish smile and was reading a book. Our eyes met briefly, and he looked up, his gaze lingering on me. I blushed, feeling flattered but also a bit nervous. To my surprise, he closed his book, stood up, and walked over to me. Excuse me, he said with a warm smile, I couldn't help but notice you from afar. You look absolutely stunning. I'm Mark. I smiled back, grateful for his kind words. Thank you, Mark. I'm Christina. Mark extended his hand, and I shook it delicately. It's a pleasure to meet you, Christina. Would you be interested in joining me for a coffee at that cafe over there? He gestured to a charming little cafe nestled under a tree, its tables adorned with colorful umbrellas. I hesitated for a moment, a mixture of excitement and apprehension coursing through me. But I remembered the lessons I had learned from my previous adventure, the importance of stepping outside of my comfort zone. With newfound confidence, I agreed. I'd love to, Mark. We spent hours at the cafe, sipping coffee and engaging in lively conversation. Mark was a kind, intelligent, and genuinely interesting person. We talked about our interests, dreams, and shared a few stories. It felt like we had known each other for much longer than just a few hours. As the sun began to set, casting a warm orange hue over the park, Mark looked at me with a smile. Christina, I'm really glad I met you today. Can I have your phone number? I'd love to see you again. I felt my heart skip a beat, but in that moment, it wasn't about the bet or the dress, it was about the connection we had made. With a genuine smile, I shared my phone number with Mark, and he reciprocated with his. We parted ways, promising to meet again soon. Walking away from the park that evening, I realized that sometimes, embracing change and trying new things could lead to beautiful and unexpected connections.
Christina's adventure had opened up a new chapter in my life, one filled with exciting possibilities and newfound friendships. In the days following my memorable encounter with Mark, I found myself eagerly anticipating our next meeting. Emily couldn't contain her excitement either, and we spent hours chatting about the possibilities of my budding connection with him. To my surprise, Emily had become quite fond of Christina and her adventures. One sunny weekend, Emily decided it was time to introduce me to some of her friends, including her boyfriend, Jeff, who had been nothing but supportive and understanding about my recent adventures as Christina. Emily had also invited Mark to join us for an afternoon outing at a nearby park. Dressed in another fashionable ensemble as Christina, I felt a mix of excitement and apprehension as we arrived at the park. Emily was dressed to impress, as usual, and Jeff greeted us with a warm smile, knowing that today would be a unique experience. Mark soon arrived, looking dashing as always. We exchanged greetings and, after a bit of small talk, embarked on a leisurely stroll through the park. The sunlit paths, fragrant flowers, and laughter from children playing in the distance set a picturesque backdrop for our outing. Emily, being her outgoing self, sparked engaging conversations among us. As we shared stories and got to know one another better, I felt an overwhelming sense of belonging. It was as if our little group had been friends for years. Mark and I couldn't help but steal glances and smiles throughout the day. Emily and Jeff, the perfect wing couple, supported our budding connection wholeheartedly. They had been instrumental in bringing us together, and it was evident they were thrilled for us. As the afternoon turned to evening, Mark leaned in, asking me with a twinkle in his eye, Christina, would you like to go on a dinner date with me next weekend? I blushed, feeling a surge of happiness. I'd love to, Mark. The excitement in the air was palpable as we exchanged contact information once more. Emily, ever the planner, suggested we celebrate with ice cream from a nearby vendor. We laughed, chatted, and savored our sweet treats as the sun dipped below the horizon. It was a day filled with laughter, newfound friendships, and the promise of a blossoming romance. I couldn't help but reflect on how this journey as Christina had brought me not only self-discovery but also unexpected connections that had enriched my life in ways I had never imagined. As we left the park that evening, arm in arm with Mark, I couldn't help but feel grateful for my adventurous sister, Emily, and her boyfriend, Jeff, who had made it all possible. As we walked back to our cars after our delightful day in the park, Jeff decided it was time to share a secret that only he knew. We found a quiet spot away from the bustling park, and with a slightly nervous smile, he turned to Mark and me. Guys, Jeff began, there's something you should know. Christina is actually a boy in a dress. I felt a rush of anxiety, wondering how Mark would react. Mark's expression, however, was not what I expected. He simply blinked and then burst into laughter. Is that all? Jeff, I could tell right away. But honestly, it doesn't matter at all to me. Christina is amazing, and I've enjoyed every moment we've spent together. I couldn't believe my ears. Mark's nonchalant response was unexpected and relieving. It was a testament to his open-mindedness and his genuine interest in getting to know the person behind the appearance. Jeff chuckled, relieved that his revelation had been met with such acceptance. I'm glad you guys are so cool about it. Christina is just as awesome as Chris, and I'm proud of both of you for being open-minded. With the tension lifted, Mark turned to me with a playful grin. You know, Christina, I was thinking, since you look so fabulous in dresses, how about we go shopping together sometime? I'd love to help you pick out some new outfits. I couldn't help but smile at his suggestion. It was both unexpected and exciting. I'd love that, Mark. Emily, who had been listening to the conversation, chimed in with enthusiasm. Oh, this is great. I can help too. We'll make sure Christina has the most stylish wardrobe. As we continued our walk to the cars, Mark wrapped his arm around my waist, and I felt an incredible sense of acceptance and warmth from everyone around me. It was a stark reminder that sometimes, it's the connection between people that matters most, regardless of appearances or preconceptions. As the weeks went by, Mark and I became closer, and our bond grew stronger. We went shopping for dresses together, just as he had suggested, and it turned into a fun and bonding experience. 
Mark's initial attraction to Christina had evolved into genuine feelings, and he made it clear that he wanted Christina to be his girlfriend. I was overwhelmed by his kindness and openness. We decided to give it a try, and our relationship blossomed into a beautiful partnership based on trust, acceptance and love. Christina's adventures had brought me more than just self-discovery. They had led to a loving and supportive relationship that I cherished. In the end, it was a reminder that love and acceptance can transcend appearances, and that sometimes, the most unexpected connections can be the most genuine and meaningful.